Hey guys, welcome to Fun Again. In this particular video, we're going to be going over probably the most unique 1022 magazine I've come across so far. This is a Eagle International Beta Mag 2210. It's the 10 round magazine. And as you've probably seen, if you've watched my other video where I'm talking about my magazine collection, I refer to this as a 22 short mag. And I'll actually go ahead and refer to it in a 22 short mag in a video that I made prior to this that I haven't released yet. But this actual magazine, after messing with it quite a bit more, is actually a regular 1022 mag and actually accepts full size rounds. And let's go ahead and show you how it works right here. Right there, that's 10 rounds. Now let's go inside here to the table and show you what makes this mag so unique. Okay guys, back in here at the table now. I'm gonna go ahead and go over this magazine a little bit and show you what makes it unique and what I find cool about it. And as you can see, it's a straight walled magazine. And usually with a 22, when you start getting magazines that stick out of the gun a little bit, such as your BX25 here, you're gonna end up with a curve to keep the rims from being able to lock into each other. And that's actually what makes the 1022 itself pretty cool is the rotary mag design does not have that problem because the rounds are actually stacking side by side. So that's why usually when you see a, tw or a 10 round magazine on any other gun, they come down and they kind of curve a little bit to keep the rims from locking. Well, this particular magazine is completely different than anything I've seen before. And it's actually, these rounds are actually orientated inside this magazine, similar to this 2245 mag here. They're all at about a 45 degree angle facing up. And when they get to the top of the mag here, the first round, it actually catches the bullet right there on this little ledge right there, and it actually cants the round up. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in on that and see if I can give you a little bit better look at how these work. As you can see, that round is actually pointing pretty hard to the left side of the magazine, and that's another thing about this mag I noticed it's pretty unique. Usually, such as your BX25 mag here, your feed ramp is more to the center of the mag these are offset just a little bit. We'll get into that in just a second as well. But this magazine, your feed ramp is actually in the side of the mag right here. And when this round goes to the front here, let's go ahead and push it forward with this flathead right here. You'll see it go ahead and cant off to the side there. And that allows it, get that round out. So if I can show you that a little bit better. As you can see that round, it's actually pushing it to the center. Now let's go ahead and show you here how these rounds actually fit into the magazine here. Let's go ahead and shake it a little bit. As you can see, this is one reason I thought this was originally a 22 short magazine because this little channel right here that the rounds are actually canted down into is almost the same size as a 22 short round. And I didn't actually see a way for these full size rounds to fit down into there until I got to messing with it. Uh, I guess, you, well, yesterday actually is when I figured this out, that the rounds actually, let's go ahead and put one in there. And as you push it back, you can see when you pull down on the little thumb ledge here or tab here for loading that the rounds just tilt down down in there and when they come back up just goes ahead and catches right there on that ledge straighten the round out and it's ready to go ahead and feed here let's go ahead and pop these few rounds out that's left in the magazine here and show you a little bit closer look at how this is actually set up here and as you'll see the channel down in this magazine is almost the same size it was a 22 short round, and that's where I was thinking this was a short magazine conversion originally. But as you'll see in a few of my videos, it does not feed at all, hardly with shorts, but it does feed very well with a full size round. Now that I figured out that the round actually can cant down into that channel. And I mean, this magazine, the way this is all set up, it's gonna be hard to see on camera, but it's actually, it's pretty cool actually because there's actually a pocket over to the side here when this round is coming up and it has a round above it sitting in the magazine, it has somewhere to go while this magazine's going out. So essentially this round is coming out of the magazine, going into the chamber and this round's off to the left of it a little bit and coming up under it to fill in the gap. And I've never seen another magazine that works this way. That's why it took me a little while, I guess, to figure this out. And as you'll see, if you try to look this up on the internet, I have found absolutely nothing on this magazine, no information. There's a couple of pictures, but that's it. So after messing with it, I figured it's cool enough that I would go ahead and make a video about it. 
And another thing I noticed about 10 22s in particular is, is as you'll see right there, that round is canting towards the right side, which would be where your chamber's at. And that actually carries in or carries over to every other 22 mag I have or 10 22 mag I have. This is your BX20 or the 10 here. And it actually cants the round. The BX25 here, if you put a round in it, it also as well, when you feed the round, it goes to the left as well. The only mag I have that does not do that is your Pro Mag here. And this is also probably the most unreliable magazine I have. So there's something to the fact that they can't like that because every mag that I have that does this actually feeds pretty well. So that's something else I figured I'd throw in there that I found by messing with this. But yeah, that's really all I have for you now. Uh, this magazine right here, now that I know what it is, is actually probably the coolest mag I have. And uh, I feel like it's actually pretty rare because I've never seen another one. And like I said, you can't find anything information-wise about them. So that's all I got Okay, for guys, you made it this far in the video. I just want to say thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. If you're looking for more fun with guns right now, pick one of the two recommended videos there. If you're looking for more fun with guns later, go ahead and hit that there subscribe button. I sure would appreciate it. And if you're finding me from Facebook, just go ahead and click that there open ad button at the top of the page to make that a whole lot easier. And that's all I got for you today. I'll see you next time.